Hi, so what I have here is the Linksys WRT54GS, and this is the version with the speed booster. So what I'm going to show you is all of the config and setting options of all of the screens here. So let me get started and try to breeze by this as quickly as possible. So this is the setup screen, and if you need to pause uh, the video just to take a look at each setting uh, for, uh, for a longer duration, just uh, pause the video. But I'm going to try to go through this as quickly as possible and show you all of the drop downs. So uh, the drop down here, or uh, DHCP, and you have uh, you know the static IPs, PPTP, L2TP, and at the bottom here you have the time zones and the supported time zones here. So uh, keep in mind in the far right corner here, the firmware version is 1.52.8. So my uh, 54GS version is the version 6 here that you see. And let me go ahead, so that's the basic setup. DDNS, enable, disable, or you could use uh, these organizations here. And some of them are still existing. I believe DynDNS.org is still existing. Now you could spoof the MAC, uh, MAC address. And here's advanced routing. And you can see gateway router operating mode and LAN, WAN here, show the routing table, save settings, cancel settings. So that is your basic setup. Now, now let me go to the wireless. And um, go to the wireless here. And you can see you could have the mix mode, B or G, link sys, you could have all the different channels up to 11. Enable, disable SSID broadcast, reset security, and wireless security. Enable, disable the various different types. There's radius. So let me let me go through each one of these, so that you can see the options here. The enterprise. You can see there's a option for a radius server here. AES and here's WPA2 Enterprise and look at the there is the radius server address you can have the radius server for basically the authentication his web and let me go back and uh, just say disable and uh, you know, go into the wireless Mac filtering. If I enable it, of course, I can enter in the Mac addresses, and you probably can't see that window, but I could enter in the Mac addresses and advanced wireless settings, auto share key. Have uh, transmission auto disabled, enable beacon interval, and easy security setup is enabled on off RTS thresholds. And uh, let me move on now to security. Security there's the firewall, there's also VPN here. And access restrictions. So this is the policy of uh, time and day. Allow, deny, and you could restrict particular protocols here. And you could add services. Let me now go to gaming could have the port forwarding here. So once again, it's the protocols TCP or UDP and port triggering here, DMZ. So you could set a DMZ IP address here. Enable, disable, quality of service. Enable, disable, and administration. 
So this is just where you change the password more or less. Um, there's the log for the management, the sub menus, the diagnostics, the factory default, firmware upgrade, or also upgrade to another type of firmware like uh, DDWRT, configuration management. You could back up your configuration and restore it, and the status finally is just um, the information here and that's really it so that is all of the screens actually let me go through all of these here and the wireless um, but that's really it that is the complete sub menu and sub menu of the WRT 54GS and I hope this helped and please subscribe and thank you for watching.